What's up guys, iDevice Help here. Today in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys a new update to my previous video on the iCloud Bypass server. Now if you're new to this iCloud Bypass server, uh, some things you need to know is this server will allow you to get some of the features of the iPhone back without having to have the passcode for the iCloud. Now, a lot of people buy iPhones without knowing what iCloud lock even is, and then they end up losing their money and also not being able to use the device. So hopefully this video will help those people that have an iCloud lock device and legally purchased it and now they can can't use it so the first thing you want to do is go ahead and click on your language and your also your country and right before you get here to the Wi-Fi settings I want to let you guys know if you've previously connected to any Wi-Fi network make sure you click on the home button once and click on more Wi-Fi network and make sure you click on this eye that appears next to the network that you connected to and click forget this network and reboot your device alright so those that have connected to Wi-Fi in the past must do that so you can erase any Wi-Fi connection from the past and any server from the past if you have used one before uh, and then Right after you get to this page, you want to click the home button once, you'll click the more Wi-Fi settings, and of course, the eye will appear there. And then you can go ahead and proceed to enter the server right here where it says a DNS. You want to go ahead and type this server address there. Now, there's different servers for different countries, and all the servers will be in the video description down below. So make sure you read the video description. And also, a quick note, if the server does change, the number in the description will be different. So make sure you read that. It's very important before you use this server that you have the correct server number of course uh, once you connect to the server that pertains to you you want to go ahead and click back once and then you want to go ahead and click on the network that you're going to connect to and then you want to enter the password once you enter the password you're going to go ahead and click join it's going to take a few seconds in order to connect to the server this should take up to 10 seconds at the most and there it is, the server pops right up. And there you go. Now again, this will bring some of the features of the iPhone back. Not every feature, but at least it helps. No longer do you have a broken device. You can use uh, your device to a certain extent. Now as you can see there, uh, you can use the flash, the clock. You can also go ahead and use social networks such as Facebook, uh, Twitter, Google+, Plus, etc., Instagram, so on. You can use those social networks by using this server with your device. You can also browse the web. Uh, go ahead and see your email. You can log into your Gmail, Outlook, or Yahoo account as well. Uh, keep scrolling down here. You got Maps. You can also use Maps, so it's really, really cool Google Maps there uh, you can use uh, as well. And my favorite part is the videos where you can watch YouTube. There you have it. You can also connect to your Netflix account and watch your movies and TV. TV shows so you do get some of the features back on your device by doing this now you don't get all the functionality back but at least you get some of it back and you can enjoy your device to a certain extent now this works on all iPhones from iOS 8.0 all the way to the latest as of right now 8.4 so there you guys have it again make sure you read the video description down below for the numbers of those servers and make sure you leave a thumbs up if this video helped you in any way also don't forget to follow us on Facebook Twitter and Google Plus it's been a device I hope you guys enjoy the video and I will catch you guys on the next one. Peace.